Hello everyone, Tanak here. Welcome to a little uh, update on uh, the current uh, Guns R Us situation. Uh, the video I did uh, Friday night, uh, well what you saw was uh, a live version of uh, CEO Burnout. Uh, to give you a little bit of context of uh, of what what happened is uh, I don't if you remember uh, like a few episodes ago like around episode 32 32 and a half uh, guns was in was in war in a war uh, we were fighting uh, against rock art revolutionary for our stay for our station in Ivanjir and as this war was closing we got deck by a herd and and that war was uh, very exhausting for us because we were uh, I mean we we are still a pretty casual corp and we were getting hit at all hours day night uh, and even if we won like some major engagement and destroyed like 10 billion worth of isk they still kept coming uh, which is not the same thing as when you're defending a timer usually that the war start after and they they might try to hit your station again but it's not the same thing as being in a constant state with a hard high deck war so anyway i was getting a pretty exhausted uh personally and it was exhausting on guns leadership uh, and retrospectively if i look at since the start of the corporation we've burn, been burning with through a lot of uh, people in leadership position and uh, just before joining uh, strictly unprofessional uh, i had a talk with a few of my high-ranking officer like my my closest as advisor i would say and we all agreed that that joining on pro was a big culture clash for our for our corp and it's nothing against on pro and i want to make that very very clear i got nothing against them we're in very good term with them but they are basically a more mature and a more serious version of what gun is maybe they are what guns will become maybe not but they 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 have a disregarding the name they have a very uh, more professional approach to the game as we have uh, so what we anticipated that anytime there's a emerge a group uh, the group dynamic when you got two two group that are more or less merging is that the more organized and the more mature group will slowly assimilate the other and uh, and i still believe that and, and it's not i i mean and i want to say that clearly it's not something that any of the group will do on purpose it's just naturally people will gravitate toward the group that uh, that has more organized activity that that is doing uh, that is basically providing them with more content uh, and it makes uh, it makes a, a ton of sense from an individual perspective to to gravitate toward that and we knew beforehand going into the unpro alliance that that it would put internal pressure on guns to really up our game to to keep our mem member interested uh, especially our most active member that that to wanted more than the original gun experience could offer them so all that taken into consider uh, to taken into consideration and the war with her we we join we join on pro because we basically had no choice and at the same time where I, where i did join on pro uh, i just i had I, I lost a few more of my officers so i i lost two people that Two of my officer that were going to deep space and then i got i lost ones to for family reason uh which is i mean these stuff happened in eve but a lot in succession and i got and lost another one that was fighting in uh, uh, world war b and i lost one that was one of my first uh, member so i was hit like with a succession of uh, officer uh, 
leaving Corp for various reasons. And just before I was about to make my video, I got a message from uh, one of my director that they were starting their own Corp to uh, to join on Pro, uh, their own PvP Corp. And again, not blaming them. I mean, it's it's a game, and you have to do what what is making you happy in the game but the the way i i mean i took it the way i took it that night it kind of shook me up a little bit because i just i basically i threw the towel because i i was at a point where i mean i've it was i think my seventh uh, officer that i've been churning through in the past three months so uh, i didn't see a way uh, to 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 go forward with that so i, I was a little bit depressed and and so that's why I decided to uh, to, to throw the towel. Uh, I've read the message on that you guys sent on the, uh, that, that you guys sent on YouTube. The message that I got in mail. I talk with a few people. I look at my options. Uh, my feeling is that guns are us in the unprofessional, in the strictly unprofessional, as part of the strictly unprofessional alliance. And I'm not saying as friend with them, but I, as part of the alliance, they are very mature and they really operate at an alliance level. So my feeling is that we, I will, we will never have the type of flexibility that we had as an independent corp. Uh, a good example was the patch for uh, the Quantum Core, where I personally have a very different approach about structure placement. Uh, than uh, Strictly on Pro has. And they have their good reason because it corresponds to the way they're playing the game. And I have no reason because it corresponds to the way I'm playing the game. So, uh, so, so basically that, that's all that, that were in my head. So after talking about, uh, about it with a few members, we decided to do things a little bit different. Uh, I, I will be taking Guns or Us out of the Strictly Unprofessional Alliance. And like I said, I'm, we're not leaving on bad term. We're, we're, we like these guys. Most, most of the people there were, well, all the people there were on very friendly term with them. But the way I see it is I don't see Gun as part of the Alliance having a way to grow as a corp and having a way to play the game we like to play without it impacting our gameplay a little bit. Another good example is constant voice comm. I know how efficient it is in EVE to be constantly on voice. Uh, it is almost a prerequisite to be efficient in any PvP battle. Gun always had the culture that you jump on comm for an op, but they, they don't hang around chatting we our discord is a text discord and we write a lot we communicate a lot on discord but we're not uh we're not often chatting uh just for chat uh, in discord we will jump on com if there's an up or if there's an attack and people will just fire up the discord and jump on it if there's something but they will not they will not be on standby on com so that that was creating some kind of culture clash and i had member in guns that were pushing for for being on comms all the time and that's fine i mean the and, and these are the guy that i actually more happy with with strictly unprofessional so what we're going to do is uh, the the director that left uh he's, he's leaving with uh, he, He's leaving with a group of uh, PvP player, and they're going to create their own corp that is going to be part of Strictly Unprofessional. Uh, we're offering the also the non uh, the industrial player to join the Strictly on Pro Industrial Corp. So basically, all the guns member that want to stay in the alliance will have a corp to join in the alliance. Uh, gun will. stay stay as is uh, and i'm not gonna lie it is gonna impact our membership and our ability significantly uh, because we are losing most of our pvp core and our most active uh, industrial core so we're losing a, gr a group of member 
uh, guns has already sold all our structure for now so we are right now a structureless entity uh, that is uh, immune to war deck so uh, what we're going to do is just to to lower the burden of the administrative burden of leadership we're going to end up uh, collapsing uh, procurement into to a company and we are actively right now looking for our new home uh, i i have like a lot of proposition okay uh, i spent uh, the entire morning <laughs> parsing through that and answering people on discord a lot of people want us to 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 go to to, to go settle in their area um, what we're looking for right now is something that is connected to mainland isec neighboring low sec kind of like what we had in ivanger but hopefully not as busy and and okay i'm not gonna lie being on youtube comes with a content a content magnet good content and content you don't want so uh, but that's part of the that's part of the deal and that's part of the experience i'm uh, i'm doing uh i i do have more experience as a ceo now than when i first settled in ivanger and i do have a shit ton more resources than i did before uh, i'd already got a still a, a a uh, group of people that that want to follow me on that on that adventure we still want to build our industrial base uh isec structure i'll i mean i will make that the content of the the video uh, next friday uh, how we're gonna approach structure for the time being but let's just say that my reasoning is that isec structure are not worth it with the current uh, with the upcoming uh, upcoming uh, quantum core patch uh, the reason I say that is for me and this is my perspective as a corp that is not very strong by itself it is a lot easier to defend a structure in low sec than it is to actually have somebody come and help you defend a structure in ISEC. Uh, in low sec, yeah, by bad phone are, are notoriously unreliable. But so far, from my personal experience again, I never had any problem having people that I I the the, the war that were the hardest on the corp were the ISEC war. Because an ISEC war uh takes away your mentally your ability to feel to feel safe you should never feel totally safe in eve but uh, being in a state of war deck in eve makes is even if they don't show up even if they're just camping jita it is harder on the morale than having to show up for three timer and defend a structure so a war deck is actually uh more damaging i would say than people tr coming and shoot at your low self self uh, your low sex structure and again this is my perspective this is not uh i don't say it will apply to everybody but that's the way i i see that so for the time being we're regrouping uh, guns were is going to leave on pro we're starting to empty all our asset that we had in their structure and for the short term we're using uh, NPC station. Uh, we're, we have a bunch of members that are gonna are gonna move to Unpro to the different corp. I think you just saw one on the screen. Uh, we have uh, we're gonna after that when we leave uh, when we leave Unpro, uh, we are gonna move collapse every corp everything back into toy company. Uh, so procurement will stay just as a as a shell uh, if we ever deploy structure again it will be in a holding corp 
and I don't expect us to deploy any ISEC structure. So if we do end up deploying structure, uh, it is going to be uh, low sec, uh, uh, low sec only or well, anyway, that, that's the way I see it now. That I will give you all the detail uh, coming in, coming uh, forward. So disregard the, the end at the end of the last video. I took a few, I took it two days. I, I got back in the game i got back on my feet uh, i analyzed the situation more calmly uh, we're gonna reduce the scale a little bit uh, i mean it was a little bit too crazy uh, at one point i was running tree corp uh, the officer corps was uh, very taxed we, we want to, to refocus on what initially made the made people join that corp which is to try to do efficient industry and provide a way from uh, for for new bro to to go forward and and try and progress beyond isec industry so i'm i'm still a person that believe that to make industry efficient you need to have access to low slash null bonus slash wormhole so i i still do believe that i i believe that if you're doing just if you're manufacturing in isec you're wasting valuable resources that's that's my opinion uh and if you're refining in isec what the fuck are you doing you should be selling the compressor and, <laughs> and stop there but th that that's me uh th there is a difference that is significant i mean yeah your skill will count yes you can get free refining uh, at an npc station and and all that uh all that are element to take into consideration when you're deciding when you want it, it's a risk versus reward thing well, do you want this hundred percent safe route of of doing everything in uh, in ISEC? And then at that point, why do you need a corp? Uh, create your own and give you zero tax, and you can do that with an NPC structure. You can then the next step is being part of a group or deploying a ISEC structure or negotiating access to ISEC structure, and the cost to maintain them and the risk which just got higher with the new quantum core i feel makes it makes the bon bonus are basically too small compared to the risk involved so i you need like a huge amount of people for this to make sense and when you're going into low then you can you get significant more bonuses and you so and the, the risk is higher obviously is it that much higher not really uh, not not in my opinion no uh i mean people coming and shooting your station it is a risk in, in low uh, but they basically have to expose themselves to three 30 minute timer and if they do that well it's low so it's a risk for them also so that that's that's my logic and and i got contingency to deal with people shooting at my structure uh, which i don't have an eye so anyway th th that's my reasoning so ju just to tell you um, i was a bit a bit burned out uh, we are gonna regroup and refocus on our core business i would say our core core mission we are probably going to move away from essence uh, just to look at some place that is less busy uh, and so that's it we're considering uh, we're, we're looking we're, we're right now we're scouting different system we're looking at a place to settle uh, it might take us a week or two we might go uh we, we we're, right now we're going to operate for out of npc station before we know where we want to move because this moving logistic is uh, is getting painful a little bit uh we do have 
more resources because I, I'm collapsing everything uh, in uh, in one corp. So toy company has like uh, eight billion liquid isk plus about I would say maybe uh, five six billion worth of uh, of various uh, of various. Uh, item <laughs> be it mineral be it so, so we're we're gonna try probably try travel light and liquidate a bunch of resources and check depending on where we settle we're gonna do the we're gonna do the math and evaluate are we anchoring uh, low sex structure or are we keeping uh, to ourselves or best case scenario uh, do we rent office to somebody that is having the structure uh, this is something that we're considering also uh, and to be honest i need to i need to assess uh, how many member i'm i'm losing with that move so we're gonna we're, we're gonna do that in the following week so expect an update on friday uh, about how we're going to proceed through and that is for the corp me personally T tanak as a player uh, i need to progress on some other aspect of the game uh, one being pvp and just waiting on my side to occasionally do pvp uh, might not be the best wait i mean i can join specter fleet i can do like those occasional roam uh, or I might uh, run Toiko with Erica for a while and and have Tanak uh, do PvP uh, in a PvP alliance or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I mean, my my focus is still going to be uh, developing uh, Guns R Us. Uh, after all, it is what I started to do in this game. Uh, and it is the reason I'm leaving on pro is to actually be able to focus on what the guns member want. Uh, so that's it. That's it. So anyway, it. I hope it's more positive than uh, what happened on Friday. You guys are happy, and I don't want to be the guy that says oh, I quit. No, I don't quit, and stuff like that. Is honestly, when I did the message Friday. I was at a point where I didn't know what my future in game was. Uh, I took a few two days to think about it, to regroup my thought, and to build a plan going forward. Uh, I'm gonna put more detail in that plan, and I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm gonna do with it. But uh, the journey continues, and we'll see where it takes us. So anyway, bye everybody, and uh, talk to you soon. Bye bye.